We're at Niku Steakhouse in San Francisco, and this is Richard, and we are celebrating Japanese whiskey. How long has Japanese whiskey been around? So Japanese whiskey, it actually even started with uh, the Yamazaki back in the 1870s. They started making it. Uh, they didn't really start distributing it until the 1920s. Um, but it didn't get to the United States until around 2000. Whiskey production began in Japan in the 1800s, and the first Japanese distillery opened in 1924, just outside of Kyoto. There were very few spirits outside uh, of Soshu, and the guy that started this actually was importing wines from Portugal and around the world just to try to emulate, and sent uh, one of his emissaries to Scotland. That's why most Japanese whiskey have uh, this peatiness and a sort of an homage to Scotland in, the, in their taste flavor. The difference, of course, is um, that these are maybe a little more refined because the water is so important. Most were traditionally made in the um, sort of in the same method as sco uh, scotch was, so there's slight peatiness and with malt. Um, but the real thing that makes it special is, of course, all of the beautiful water, which is uh, that's indicative to, of Japan and all the different prefectures. Uh, water is really important to tea, it's really important to sake making, and it's definitely very important to Japanese whiskey making. So how do you drink Japanese whiskey? So I poured you just a little bit here. Okay, and what did you put in this one? Did you cold put water. Cold just water. a splash of cold water. So in Japan, it's very um, traditional uh, to not really make a lot of cocktails, but to just cut it with a touch of water. So it's already sweeter, right? Yes, than, yes. Than the other one. Yes, definitely a lot sweeter. Oh, that's really nice. And then this one's the hot water? The hot water, which is a very traditional in Japan. And it opens up even more. Oh my goodness, wow. That is, it's so different. So different, same, same whiskey just different treatments. Traditionally in Japan though, they use it with the hot water? With hot water or cold water, and they don't really make a lot of cocktails there. They, they will make a highball with just a bit of seltzer sometimes, but um, it's usually with water. Hot water in the winter and cold water in the summer. Yeah, all right, Richard, come pie. Thank you very much, and stick around. A lot more California Live coming up.